20. <laughs> What's going you on, everybody? Are this t oh, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> it's okay. You're good. You can say whatever you want. Interrupt me whenever you like. I don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Katie on the uh, the, the voice that is not uh, me. And we also have little man here on the screen. He's over here on this chair. And I'm kind of, I made him big. So I'm going to take him off in a second. But I just wanted him to be with us for just a second. Because cat cams are, you know. Trim the left side of the cat cam. Listen, little man's going to go away as soon as we start this draft. Katie, can you still see the screen and everything? Yeah. It's a little pixely, but it'll work. Okay. Actually, Magic Online likes to have multiple windows open. So I'm going to have to change the window now. And it should be this one. Oh, yeah. That's better. And I'll make sure that, like... Because I also have the, like, waiting for drafters screen up. It's, like, a tiny... You can probably see it on the stream if you still had that open, but you don't have to if you don't if you want to watch your bandwidth. Well, you know, me and CenturyLink, we can only do so well together. Oh my god, that was—I think that was your biggest mistake moving into this house was just not getting Comcast. Yeah, I like should... you've had such good luck with Comcast. <laughs> well, you know. Oh all right. no, it's all pixely. All right, ladies, now is the time. Hopefully. You know the art well enough on these cards. If not, just ask me. I'm going to send you a picture of what I'm seeing. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Katie's internet's terrible, by the way, guys. Oh, Jesus. Once we're in Denver together in, like, June, uh, these will be a lot easier because she will be there in person. But Read all uh, their names to me. Read all the names to you? Yeah, just really quick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's, like, some form of a Gittles... Hold on, I'm looking at this. Oh god, guys, this, this 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 is how it looks on her screen, guys. Oh man, is it gonna get better? Do you think? Um, I'm undetermined. Oh, oh, it's not good. I'm gonna take Mystic Confluence because it's a blue card. It draws cards and it counter spells. And I'm going to hope that it gets better because we only have seven seconds. Okay. Yeah, that's how it looks in 160p. That's true. You should just make your phone a hot... Wow. Okay. Well, this is an interesting pack. Okay. I feel like it's slightly clearer. Okay. But everything is still warped. Katie lives, in, I, Katie lives in I Denver. I can see Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> is that a cat on there? I know that guy. Um... Well, you know I don't memorize artwork for any cards. I'm not art driven. But what are those two blue cards? Uh, one is Charter Course, and one is Terramander. Ooh, the words are coming into focus on also, the bottom there's, row. There's two moxes in the pack, so I just want I want to be clear that we're probably taking one of those. Okay, I can't even tell what uh, colors they're for. So. Uh, one, the first is green, and the other was white. <laughs> it is a pearl and an uh, emerald. Let's go white. You want to go white? Yeah. Done. Ooh. Mm. How's it looking for you? Well, you know I love Green Bay. Is, is that Corsair of Crufix? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, if it's a green creature that gains you some amount of life, that's where you're at. Mm, <laughs> yes. There's also Ancestral Vision, which draws us three cards. Are you trying to say that that's better? That's not what I'm saying. I am saying it is that it is another option, alternative option, perhaps. Also, a Celestia Signet is decent. But if you want to take Green Bay, we could take. Green I want Bay. to take Green Bay. Okay, Green Bay, it is. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, I can't tell which Jace that is. Can you read? It, it? is the three mana Jace, Jace Bellerin. Oh, Bellerin. We also have opposition in this pack, which is very very good with Green Bay. Um, what is that green plains walk around the right? This is Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. I don't think it's actually that good. Okay. She's kind of a she's kind of shit tier. Mm. Please consider the card to the right of Jace, which is Misty Rainforest, but also opposition. So this would be so much easier if you were just here. I think. Do you want to alternate picks? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, I'm going to take the opposition. Okay. You know, and, if it was me, I would have took 
taking Giddles because I love him. Giddles? Yeah. Dang it! I wish I could read the top row. Do you mean? Can you try like mean, resizing the sar- the cards really quick? Do you mean Jace? No. I don't know if there was a Gideon in that. But a Gideon? Are you saying Gideon? This is as literally as big as they get, unfortunately. No, no. Okay, try like sizing them all the way down, and then like putting them all the way back up again. Oh, that's interesting. That's... Okay. Um, I still can't read the top row. I can only oh read the bottom God. row. This is so sad. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Little man is still there. That's true. He's just hanging out. Read me the pickable ones. <laughs> uh, Woodfall Primus, Kitchen Ooh, I Finks. Like I do Ooh, too, actually. No, I like the, I, mm. And Brazen Borrower are probably the best options in this pack. Woodfall is fine. Okay, I was leaning towards Woodfall anyway. Ooh, a Vivian Reed. It wasn't it's how was this? Great. I feel like this was. Oh, I think I think I know why this was easier the first time we did this. It was because I called you. So you got to see the actual cards, and I got to see the pixelated ones, and I think I was a little, just a little bit better than with the with the pixelated ones than you than you are. Are you trying to rub it in right now? I was trying to delicately explain it. It's fine. What's on the right? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to be a little more specific than what's on the right. The white card on the right. Stoneforge Mistaku. Hmm. We could take baby. Oh wait, is this your turn? Yeah, but I still wanted to hear what's your opinions. The, so. What's on the very left? Uh, balance. Oh, okay. But I don't think we're, I don't think we're white. Oh, mm-hmm. here you go. Here you go. We have a, a if you want to, if you want the blue and green cards, we have Force of Negation. Uh, and Plow Under. There's also a Blightsteel Colossus, if we get like a Tooth and Nail or something. What is the card to the right of Blightsteel? Uh, Trustani. Discordant. Mm-hmm. The one that makes two one ones when it comes into play. Um, There's also like a nature's claim down here, but I don't. No, no. it's not exciting. Mm, let's take the plow under. Okay, good. I was. I'm gonna also gonna highlight the cards that that I would pick just in case time runs out, so we don't end up with like some poop. Just some good old poop. Just some good old Duke. <laughs> this pack is not good. <laughs> I guess it's just Path. I think it's like Raging Green, but I don't think it's great. I think it's just Path. Yeah, I think Path is better. I don't even know if we're going to play white cards, but... <clears throat> we should have taken the green one. <coughs> the what? I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? What do you think? Gids here? You like a little Gids. Wait, which Gids is it? It's the one it's that makes two twos. Mm. What? Really? This is the this is like the good one. Um, What's your favorite you one? Quiet down. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Wait, what are the other two white cards? Is that Adanto Vanguard and Flicker Wisp? Yeah, give you an one. Yeah, nothing super impressive. Oh, did you hear that? I mean, this I heard something. Also, not super impressive. Yeah, I think the Gideon's good because it makes tokens for opposition as well. <clears throat> Although every card we have so far is either double green, double white, or double blue. So we're doing really good. What's the blue card in this pack? Uh, the blue card is Terramander, which is oh. kind of rough. I think it's probably just Lyra, but <clears throat> yeah, it's up to you. No, I think fine. is oh, was it my pick? I don't even know. It was your pick. Ooh, how about a Leshnorn? Do you want to take this a Leshnorn? Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think we're taking anything else in that pack. Oh, that's the... my favorite giddy. <laughs> Look at him. Wait, wait, what is that? What is what am I looking at? Him. Oh, God. Lingering Souls are unexpectedly souls. absent. You said Lingering Souls? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the Stoneforge Mystic came back. That's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. All right. So, oh, wow. Baneslayer came back. Jeez. So now we have Lyra and Baneslayer. Hot pickups. We have a lot of five drops, but a lot of these cards are decent. That's my favorite way to play. It's with a lot of five drops. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, there's another really good one in this pack in Treachery. Okay, I can't. I can't see any of them. So. Oh God! It's fine. This makes me so it's sad. Like, it's like playing draft fall. Well, it's like playing. It's, it's like playing what? What? What'd you just say? It's like playing draft while well, blinded by the light. I think Mana Vault is probably the pick. I don't know whose pick it was. Mine or yours, but. <clears throat> Mana Vault's pretty good. 
I feel like we should have gone into red instead of blue. I agree, uh, Mana Vault is probably the pick, but what is the first white card in the back? Hero of Bladehold. Also oh. pretty good. No Mana Vault, though. No. I think Mana Vault's basically like power. Okay. Wow, I wish I could read these. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> read I'm the sorry, first babe. three. It's okay. Moat, Linvala, and Mindslaver. But and I, what is the blue green land? Uh, the blue green land is a breeding pool, and the blue white land is a tundra. Ooh. How likely do you think it is that we're going to play these blue cards, or should we just go green white? What if I did? What if I did one of these jobbies? Would this help at all? I wonder. Are you are you changing something? I'm gonna put a. I'm putting this card thing up so you can maybe see the these cards. Twenty six seconds. Let me know if what that if that big. Oh, it's not gonna. No, it's not gonna show because I can only pick one window at a time, and she can only see this window, not the. Oh, that's so frustrating. Magic Online is a real weird program. What did you? Really what was your suggestion? Tundra. You think Tundra? <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> Don't die. No, it's fine. Ooh, is this mine? Windswept yeah. Teeth is nice. That gets all of our colors if we're if we're playing all these colors. Which rookie is that? Uh, this is Relentless. Mm. Uh, I'm not screen sharing, I'm window sharing because I have a like 34 inch ultra wide monitor so I think it would take even more bandwidth if I was window sharing. So it's extremely wide and she would see the whole thing which is not really it's probably more confusing that way. I'm going to take the windswept teeth. Oh boy. Gids and Rookie. <laughs> oh, man. What's the first card in this pack? Leovold, Emissary of Trest. And what's the white card? The oh, white God. card is a recruiter of the of the guard, so not, not great. Thank you. Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Hello, Mr. Tasty. I mean, there's also a Cryptic Command and a Riftwing Cloud Skate, which I would lean towards. But Oh, I couldn't even see my little Cryptic Command. Yeah, the triple blue is rough, That's but... You want to take no, that? it's fine. It's fine. You want to go Riffling... You've never had land problems once in your life. Okay, we're taking Cryptic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, we're so greedy right now. Um... Questing Beast is really good. It's another... Literally every card in our deck is two mana colors except for Lingering Souls and Stoneforge Mystic. I think it's probably just Impulse here. Hold on. I'm going to log into another version because I can't zoom in on this one anymore. So I'm actually going to replace it with this one which may affect your vision for a second. I have no vision. Yep. I'm just waiting for this to load again, then I'll reshare. Because I couldn't zoom in, so I think maybe being able to zoom in would be helpful. Okay. Alright, I'm taking the impulse. And then I will share this with you. Okay. Alright. It has been shared. Oh my god, look at the cards that I can read! Is that better? Yeah, I feel like we should take Sylvan for fixing I, I was, I'm, I'm very glad you said that, because that was the only card that's even... I think Winds of Abandon is good, but I think Sylvan Carryout is definitely way more necessary. No! What happened to it? Oh, is it gone now? Oh god, it's gone. Wow, short-lived. We have an Elspeth. Oh. Uh, what's the, the green one? What's the blue and the green one? Uh, the blue and the green one is Little Dinosaur Beast, Trigon Predator. <laughs> no, not that one. The blue one next to it and the green one. Oh, the blue one and the green one. Arcane yeah. Artisan. It does help when you can make the cards bigger a little bit. Okay, good. And Fast Bond. I've never even heard of that card. <laughs> um, I don't care between Elspeth and Trigon. I think it's Elspeth. She seems better in this kind of deck. 
Oh god, look, another five drop. <coughs> Don't die. Oh, uh, what black white land is it? That's a scrub land. Hmm. We could hmm. watch back our lingering souls. That's actually, yeah, that's actually true. And we can get it with a windswept teeth too. That's actually mm -hmm. not bad. I do like acidic slime, but I think I think we're probably good on five five drops. Yeah. Oh, Hero of Bladehold came back. What are the other two green ones? Uh, Whisperwood Elemental, another five drop, and Den Protector. Mm. I think <coughs> Hero of Bladehold's fine. Yeah, I think Hero of Bladehold's real good. Oh, I like a search for tomorrow here. How about you? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put this Stoneforge in the sideboard because we have no equipment for it yet. If we get some, it can come back. Yeah. Oh my god, I can read him again. Whew. You want to just take Containment Food Priest fighting. for the sideboard? Yeah, it's fine. It's not impressive, but... No, it's not. This pack's not impressive either. Wait, how is it set up? Do we play against the other people who drafted with us or no? No, so we're not hating anything, really. Okay. <clears throat> just take Recruiter in case we want to play yeah. it. Uh, finale, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so unexcited about yeah, these. We, well, we've reached the unexciting part of the pack. But we have like 19 playables right now, so I'm not like... I think we want to get some fixing here. We got this... Look, we got this little cutie at the end. <gasps> look at that little guy. I think this drop will... Not as cute as Watson, but... It's cool. Okay, listen... <laughs> He ain't, it's not a contest. And this is real, I guess it is. I'm like, oh, dang. Do you feel like that'll come back or no? I definitely don't. People take lands real high. Is that Sun Titan? Yeah, that is a Sun Titan. We don't even have that many cards to get back <laughs> with it, to be honest. No, that's fine. Yeah, I think. You want to go drop? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. What is, is to the left of this rookie? That is a carny T. Hmm. And then there's a Gids. Look, you got a Gids and a Rookie. Look at that Revy. It's a buddy cop adventure. You want Sphinx's Rev? I know you do. I mean, you know I do, but I don't know if that's good in cube. I think it's fine in cube. I just don't know. I don't think anything else is really that good in this pack. Sower of Temptation's good. Mm. We could also take yeah. Ashiok, splash it off the scrub land. You want to take Sphinx's rub? Yeah. Okay. We have Black Greedy. That's how I like to play Magic, is Greedy. Yeah, Blade Splicer actually seems fine. What's the other white one next to it? The other white one is Day of Judgment. Doge. Mm. What's the green one in the corner? Uh, Deranged Hermit. Actually, Deranged Hermit's pretty good with Opposition. Yeah. I was thinking I like Blade Splicer better. because it's easier to cast. Mm, yeah, that's true. But I mean, we're not going to be able to cast any spells. Who are we kidding? <laughs> well, I don't really have mana troubles that frequently, and we have at least three lands here, so I don't see what the problem oh, okay. is. Okay. What the problem is... What problem is? I think it's I think it's Blade Splicer. I think it's just we want a better okay. curve than like mono five drops. Ooh, Colonnade. Ooh. Ooh. What's the blue card? Uh, Frosty T. Frosty T. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Colonnade. I know, I know. Um, this is everything I've ever wanted in life. In this deck. Yeah. Well, we haven't got a Thrag Test yet, so. This pack's actually he's pretty good. Coming. We got Jace no, Friends Prodigy, coming. Frexy Metamorph, and Devoted Druid that I think are the the choices here. How's your how's your Shirley Temple? Good. What was the middle one? Uh Frexy Metamorph. Oh. Devoted Druid. And Jace. I kind of am leaning towards Devoted Druid. I mean, also, there is an Edric as well, but I feel like the other cards are probably just better. I was thinking Devoted Druid too, actually. I want to be able to actually play some of these earlier than yeah. turn five. Oh, God, it's mm -hmm. doing that thing. Okay, I did it. 
Frosty honest. tea, it'll cool your throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I like Oblivion Ring. What's well, the white card? Right. Monastery oh, Mentor, here. also not bad. Hmm. O-Ring is probably just objectively better. I, yeah, I think so, too. And I think we have, like... Maybe yeah. we don't have enough creatures. I don't know. We have Hero, Lingering Souls, Blade Splicer. Yeah, I think we're good. I think it's O-Ring. <clears throat> <coughs> uh, Resto. Ooh! In case we get that Thragon It's all boy. coming together! What can we blink with Resto? We got Blade Splicer, mm -hmm. and that's... Not would fall lot. primus <laughs> at like eight yeah she's she's seen better days wall is okay i mean we can tap things down with yeah, opposition I like wall okay well, what was that black white land uh concealed courtyard which is the one that comes into play tap if you control three or more lands okay night of autumn i do like is a that night the of only autumn. pick uh, Biogenic Ooze, again, is another 5-drop. It makes another token. No. <laughs> I'm done with 5-drops. I'm past that phase in my life. Yeah, I think I think Night of Autumn is probably the best. It's also very versatile. Kills, uh, kills things. <sighs> eh, nothing super exciting in here. Thrag Tusk and Resto, what is this, 2012? Yeah, that's where Katie lives. She lives in 2012 that's magic. It, yeah. I've been living in 2012 for my whole life. What do you think? Re Revoker? Angel of Serenity? What do you does it matter? Angel. Okay. Look at all these big fat angels we have on the sideboard. We got Iona and I mean, got... this is just exactly the standard that I've always have dreamed of. <laughs> so I've always dreamed of it. Uh we got a five mana Okay, you like yeah, me too. Or Garrick. However you want to say you can, it. You could say it either way. You want Day of Judgment? Yeah. All right. We got Progenitus. Well, we're only a couple colors away from that. <laughs> we can do it. We got one black in the sideboard, <laughs> too. We got the Scrub Lamp. I'm just going to take the Selfless Spirit. Now I'm just going to take the cards that are in our colors. Fairgrounds. You, you, can, you can pick them all. <laughs> okay. You're not committed to these? No, I don't, I don't think these are going to be the make or break. I think we got to cut Cryptic. Triple Blue <gasps> seems real hard. <coughs> oh my god, I, I killed her. <laughs> Bye, pizza, Steve. Okay, so pizza. we need three cuts here. Um, So you're going to take away my favorite card and then probably my second favorite card. Bye. What's your second favorite? What, do you think I'm cut Corso Crufix? No, you better not be cutting that one. You think I'm going to cut Gideon Jura? Yeah. I would never do that to you. You can cut Cryptic Command. It's not fitting with what we're doing. It's, and not... it's Yeah, it's so expensive. It's such, it's such <laughs> yes, a hard mana it's cost. It's not working. Um, what's our worst five drops? Because I think that's what we need to cut. Yeah. And it might be Baneslayer Angel. It might be. What about Sphinx's Rev? I think we can cut Sphinx's Rev. It's a little slow. Stabbing me right through the heart. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's fine. No, I think it's really slow. It's fine. <laughs> Everybody else is doing broken stuff, and I'm just playing 2012 standard. It's... You're like, I'll pay seven mana to draw three cards. <laughs> and they're like, actually, no, like... it's four cards. And you're like, oh, dang. They're right. <laughs> I think everything else is good, though. I think it's a very uh, fair. It's deck. a fair. It's a very. It's a, but we didn't, we didn't open like broken stuff. I don't think. Plus, like your bread and butter is like mid range fair decks. I think so. Yeah, our control. That's what I like. I want to do That's fair stuff really likes. slowly. Okay, so. All right, we're playing oh all God. these. Are you okay? Carwood said we should cut all the blue. I was thinking that too, but I think opposition is just too good. Plus, we have, like, three blue fixing lands. And also, and, I just like blue. Right, and Sylvan Carry added, and Search for Tomorrow. So, I think our blue is fine. What is this? Five, six, seven. Seven I green I hope you're sources. not fucking our mana up. 
four, I can't see it. five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine white sources. We're going to go eight, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six blue sources. I think this is actually fine. Eight, eight, six. What are you doing? That's too many. What do you mean? What did you say? Eight sources of What's green. What's our lands? Eight sources of white. No, just, just read me the lands. Six forests. Mm-hmm. Three plains. Mm-hmm. Two islands. And then a colonnade, a scrubland, a tropical island. Okay. Okay. A tundra and a windswept heath. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. If the deck doesn't work, blame Frank for picking bad basics. It's fair. <laughs> I mean, if we don't draw a land, I'm definitely blaming Frank. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you and everyone else. Uh, one time we played two at a giant, and we did really well. And I think it's because... I'm okay at drawing cards, and Frank is not. Wow. I'll make the plays, you draw the cards. How about that? That seems like a good distribution of of labor. I can read things on this screen. Mm. Why Scrubland? So we can flashback Lingering Souls, Mutual. Oh, Maclo is Michael in chat. Hi, Michael B. Oh, first turn. Uh, search for tomorrow. How do you feel about Ooh. this hand? It's got two five drops. Spicy. Okay, well then we're <laughs> Oh Lord. We're probably gonna get a tundra with the wind sub so we got a blue source. That's no, my... whoever asked, I am not Emma Handy. It says it right in the in the in the tra in the title. Alright, we got we got our search suspended. Valtra, good to see you, buddy. What did you say? Did you say look at him? You talking about him. this? Okay, take it easy. Once she gets that, once she starts searching for tomorrow, she gets all, gets all aggressive. A little search and a little Shirley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old search and Shirley. Everybody knows that one. All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn here because we don't have anything to do. Our hand is five, 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 seven. This guy, this guy bounce lands. Oh man, what a little mm. flying biscuit. Biscuit boy in the living room. I'm sorry, what? Hmm? What are you saying right now? I was just singing about Biscuit Boy. <laughs> yeah, well, who hasn't heard of the story of Biscuit Boy? Oh, man, Lil Man's gone? Dang. I don't even know when the cat cam left. Okay, I don't like this Thief of Sanity, so I'm hoping we draw Oblivion Ring or something. I feel like odds of that are low. It's not high. <laughs> I mean, we do have Vivian Reed to kill it next we turn. We're not dead, you biscuit. Okay, oh, what are we getting with this one? Oh, let's get an island. Yes. Something good. Oh, it's just another land, guys. Oh, the best land. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting hit by a thief of sanity, unfortunately. Look at us uh, not playing anything till turn five. It's pretty cool. Well, you know what they say. Yes. I I don't I was hoping I don't know I was hoping you would. Oh, usually they say play shit before turn five, but that actually is a good <laughs> strategy. Oh, we did play a search. Good call. Oh look, it's a black lotus. Oh, classic. Well, are they playing G Daddy? Oh Jesus! <laughs> Sometimes you're just like, well, good game, I guess. Oblivion ring now. Uh, oh, oh, six man Elspeth. <laughs> Not the same. Not the same. And now they're going to bounce something with Riftwing Cloud Skate. Which is unfortunate. Was that our... This is our Woodfall Primus. Wow. Mm -hmm. So they literally played Black Lotus and then cast our Woodfall Primus off of the triple green... I guess it doesn't matter if it's because this guy lets you cast anything, but still. Yeah, we got on. Wow. What an actual turn. Wait, if we kill this, though, if we get rid of this somehow. Let me read the first news. Does it come on a Yeah, then, well, then we get it. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, true. they're going to bounce another. I don't think we have any kill spells. We have an Oblivion Ring. <laughs> yeah. But oh, no, we have Path to Exile, too. 
It's no, but like we can Oblivion Ring and then like Vivian read our Oblivion Ring. Louise is spicy. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, it's all going to be. We're all, we're probably just. Really oh yeah. Elspeth does kill it. That's true. Um, mm. just not this game. Mm. Yep, six. Mm -hmm. I guess we're taking ten here. I think we're we're still alive. We still got this. We're fine. We could draw. Man, Day of Judgment would be real good here, right? No, because we don't have any white. Well, touche. <laughs> touche. <laughs> no, there's I... literally nothing we could draw. Okay. We're totally fucking dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the next game. <laughs> okay. Both, both sides. I think we got it this time. Both sides played hard. We they do have a Wrath harder. of God and a Day of Judgment if that does anything for us. Do you want to bring the Selfless Spirit in so we can block their, their Thief of Sanity? Are you thinking about it? I'm thinking. Okay. I, guess I actually Blinkers. don't really feel like we are winning with... Like, I feel like maybe we should bring in a Wrath. I was thinking that too. It just kills our. It does kill our rampy creatures like Sylvan Carry Out or Devoted mm. Druid, but we don't have a ton of them. I think it might be. Might, I think might, one might be fine. Yeah. Let's take out the wall for for a selfless spirit, and let's bring in a Wrath of God for something. Or we could just play forty one because I'll play forty one. I'll play forty one any day. Nice. That's why we're together. <laughs> The five drop plan didn't work. It will work. It just needs a chance to shine. Yeah, it's no no five drop plan ever works on its first go round. I don't know how I feel about this hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you. Oh, I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Two lands in my luck is is. Well, I think it's fine if I was playing it. Oh wow. Maybe maybe not this way, but oh, we'll no. see. <laughs> um, are you stuck in upkeep? <clears throat> oh wow, that was real. That was real sassy of you. <laughs> wow. This is what I have to deal with, guys, just so you know. Is there a problem with your mouse? Did it stop working? or what's Is the... my screen frozen? What? <laughs> Are you clicking it and there's just no response? Because... Dear Lord, woman. Oh, good. Mox Diamond on turn one. That goes well with your Black Lotus. Oh, wow. Look at them tapping stuff and playing cards. Oh, God damn it. Every game! Alright, we're just gonna play Colonnade here. Uh, no, we can't play our Corsair. It's fine. Well, we couldn't anyway. But we're guaranteed her least... souls. It's fine. Oh my god, she's getting so <laughs> mad. Oh, look, Ancestor Recall. To go with oh, your wow. block. <laughs> to go with your block. We're gonna time walk right now. We're gonna be like, oh, Grim Monolith. Wow. Alright. So their deck is bonkers, and I don't feel bad about losing first round now. You know, I'm feeling very good about our very fair deck, and sometimes Lingering Souls really gets there. Yeah, they're really gonna. This is gonna. These guys are gonna deal ten points each. Yep. Look, they're taking Look. two. Now all I have to deal exactly. is nine each. So Grim Monolith, Mox Diamond, Ancestral Recall, Black Lotus seems good. Oh, they mm -hmm. took our Wrath of God. Here comes a uh, Tezzeret. Interesting. Yep. Untap those. That's good. Mm. Yep. All right. Boy, they're really, they're really having a, having a day here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that, that hurt me right in my heart. It's okay. We drew a mox. Mhm. Mm oh, this has been a real, this has been a real match, guys. <laughs> This has been a real match. I'm gonna just attack the Tezzeret because I feel like that's probably gonna. Can I can I read all of his abilities? Okay. Uh, let me know if you can read this. Otherwise, I will. Yeah, I can read it. Okay. Otherwise, I will speak them to you. Um, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Bounce my colonnade. That's uh, that's a good one. Block our one ones. So, it's unfortunate. Sometimes you start a draft and you only get to play two rounds. It's really weird. You only get to play two rounds? Yeah, it's really weird. Like, sometimes, like, you, they just start you on round two, you know? It's like this one never happened. That's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I was, I was trying to debate if oh. you were meaning that or if you are meaning that you were going to quit before round three. No, happened. no, no. I think, 
No, if I lose first round, I like playing the second two rounds out because, like... Also, this deck is just bonkers. Yeah, they got a lot of goodies in their goodie bag, and our goodie bag is full of, like, fucking vegetables. Vegetables? Look They're at five, our vegetables. Five mana. Look, this guy's harvesting our vegetables right now. Look They're at doing him go. Work. Yep. Oh, wait, what are they doing? They're gonna... Hold on, they're using their Jace to flashback Ancestral Recall. Let's oh. let them have their fun. Oh, it's too they late. They worked hard to... Oh. I don't feel like they worked that hard at all, to be honest with you. They worked hard to draft that cool deck. I feel like they... I feel like that deck was effortless. <laughs> well. So to be clear, they have five. Ancestral, Lotus, Grim Monolith, Mox Diamond, Mind Twist. Uh, the second Ancestral. I think you forgot about that one. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one bag of turnips from Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old bag of turnips dollar. Kermit, can I tell you that I missed the turnip seller yesterday? I don't even know what that means. It's on Are, Animal Crossing. I knew you were going to say that. Dang it. Are we going to keep this hand? I think it's good. Yes. Yes. Yes, queen. <laughs> you didn't even have to ask me. <laughs> Right, but I want to. I don't want to like leave you out and be like, "I oh, kept this hand. I don't even care what you think." I mean, we both know that this is a good hand. Yeah, it's good I know. enough for us. <laughs> wow, I like how you downgrade. You're like, it's at least good enough for us. I mean, it's not. That's hurtful. It's not whatever our other opponent was doing, but. Well, yes, but that deck was something else. It's obvious they made eight accounts and joined one vintage cube where they gave themselves all the goodies. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, we can go turn three. Are you ready for the turn three plow under? I've never been more ready. That's gonna be that's gonna be something right there. Or we can play Vivian Reed and kill their bird. It might cast a five drop. We're working. We're working on it. Hopefully, we'll hit a land too, because I don't want to have to. I don't have to put negative counters on my devoted. <sighs> Never mind, <laughs> guys. It wasn't meant to be. Land. Someone carry out. It's kind of like a land. You know. We're trying our best. Sometimes I draft decks like this and they don't actually seem bad. They just seem more fair. But then, like, they don't even work as fair decks because, like, you just miss land drops. Everything so. out. Well, and I feel like all the other decks are so unfair. Well, he I'm did mind really twist us for, like, drafting those. four or five. Well, I mean, I feel like we take the most unfair cards we're offered, but sometimes you just don't get them, I think. Yeah. Oh, all right. I guess we're going to hero blade hold. Because it's all we can do. Truer words were never spoken. Filling a deck with five and six drops is also bad in normal limit. That's because normal limit doesn't have ramp spells, my dude. Yep. I mean, you have search oh, for tomorrow, summon too. carry added, like, devoted druid. Like, when you're able to ramp into your five and six drops, it's really not as... Not as clunky. Yeah, it's not as detrimental. I think that they would be on the bottom shelf in there. With all the baking stuff. Are you talking about your turnips? I'm just talking about cupcake holders for Julie's. Are you in the kitchen? No, I'm downstairs. Oh. She asked if I had any more cupcake holders. Oh. Land. <gasps> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, so yes, normal limited also doesn't have black lotus or moxes. I think that was the problem. I think we didn't drop, we didn't draft enough five and six drops. Is that what you think drops. it was? Yeah. Your gift will be there Thursday. Just so you know. <sighs> Chat, what do you think my gift is? It don't, shipped today. They'll never know. 
Oh yeah, I pulled a. I remember when we pulled a, a lotus and a foil black lotus. That was. Oh, this guy's this guy's a real piece of junk. <laughs> this guy's a real. Hot dog sandwich. Gluten free. I also have an inkling that it's Jordan's. Wow. You guys are what? They're just killing our our one little guy. Well, that was sad. Well, they have no way to defend him. Currently. Hmm. Hmm. Do we path our own guy <laughs> to get a land? Hmm. Sad thing is, I do not hate it. Let's attack this Garrick and then make some more gentlemen. Let's go these. Make some solies. One day we'll hit a fourth land. I believe in us. Pure gluten hot dog sandwich. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it's made of pure gluten. Is COVID-19 sending your viewer count higher, Franklin? I feel like it kind of is. So if you guys are watching because you're stuck at home, thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys. Feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can also check me out every Wednesday at CoolStuffInc.com or Manitraders. Oh my god, he's doing the whole thing. Doc. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> listen. This is going to pay our yeah. bills, okay? Oh, okay. We'll pay need... for better internet. <laughs> well, god, I hope something does. <laughs> Interesting that they're attacking with this hissing quaggles. What are they trying to do right now? I think attacking us is their main goal, but it doesn't seem... I subscribe because of COVID. A Franklin a day keeps the virus away. That's good. That's good to know. All right, do you want to just pass here, or do you want to path text on one of our, one of our guys? Because then if we hit another land, we can actually play Elspeth. One, two, three, four, five. I think we path our trap spirit. I can get I can get behind that. <laughs> I'm watching it work like a real hero. Frank is crippling rat bet. <laughs> I think you guys are thinking of Michael B. Katie, my love, I need a haircut and I don't know what to do. I told you I'd cut it. Oh god. Land. Well, you don't you don't trust me? Opposition. Hmm. I mean, that's good. I think we kill the Garrick with one spirit. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking. Okay, take it easy. Well, we're definitely getting rid of the Garrick. Yeah. Oh, no, they got a bird of paradise. Oh, Ugh. no. Welcome to Amateur Hour. I was trying to think about what we should do. Oh my god. Maybe they maybe they forget. Maybe they're like, what Trixies do they have attacking just their one spirit? And I'm like, plus three, plus three trample, my dude. Just kidding, I don't have that. Oh, they're paying costs. What are they doing? They're going to just dismember this one spirit? Minus oh. five, minus five. That's aggressive. Aye, you got us. Wow. <sighs> Boy. I mean, we got opposition, which doesn't seem great here. But it is actually pretty great if we had Elspeth next turn. Maybe we just take one turn in yeah, opposition. Maybe we just, yeah. It's going right. a little rough with there. We're not dead yet. Are you going to cut it via Skype? Yeah, we should just stream your haircutting. Shut up and we take my that. money. And people are going to be like, what's going on? Corporate America donated $1. Hi, Franklin. Do you know a reliable place for me to rent magic decks or to buy things and read articles about Magic the Gathering? <laughs> oh, good. They had Mana Leak. Uh, yeah, if you want to read articles, you can go to CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday and find my content. Or you can go to ManaTraders.com and they'll let you rent uh, Magic Online cards for Pioneer wait, wait, Modern. Let me see if I can do it. What can you do? Cool stuffing every Wednesday where he has a new article come up. Um, oh, which side is that? That was the Frank thought. <laughs> Promo code down below. Ooh, which one is it? 
Mm, is it also a mana trainer? Uh, do you want to tell you? No, or no, if you sign up, if you sign up, you get first. I should know this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It'll come to me. Okay. I can't tell if you're cheating or not. I'm not cheating. I'm just sitting here watching our death come to us. <laughs> it's, I'm watching our death come to us. I'm gonna. Do you have a, do you have a problem <laughs> with me conceding here? No. Okay. I feel like our deck has not been doing as well as it should be, or or maybe maybe it's doing just as well. I feel like the, <laughs> like <coughs> I feel like Wrath and Day of Judgment are, are just not bad in our deck. I feel like we could actually yeah, just I play one. I feel like we're more of a control deck, and then like ramping later into like, into fat idiots into our yeah planeswalkers and stuff. What if we play it like that? Then we'll take out Wall of Blossoms. Maybe we just take the. What if we took the blue cards out? We can take the blue cards out. <sighs> take good? them out. Okay. Or we could just try it without the blue cards. Um, Tropical Island, Tundra. This, this, and this. Alright, so... Let's see what happens here. 5-4. We have 11. Wait, why would you add 9 lands here when we already have 11 in a mox? <laughs> they're like play 21 lands i can't see them so i hope you're not messing it up three so 11 wait did you 20. put in the other cards not yet i'm just adding all our lands so i know how many empty slots we have we have four slots oh, okay. i think it's day and wrath mm -hmm. um i, I kind of like fine. yeah i kind of like selfless spirit because mm -hmm. if we do have day or wrath we could save our guys and what about like angel of serenity as like a late a late creature to get some guys back for us. Hell yeah. Okay, take it easy. All right, let's try this then. Let's see if our blue, our white, white green control deck is any better. <laughs> are you okay? It looks fine. Yeah. It, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> no reason. No, nah, Bee Slayer. Mike likes Bee Slayer better than Angel of Serenity. Yeah, he, I think I think he's been liking Beastly this whole time. Well, you know what they say about Michael B. He loves well, the Michael B. Slayer. You can't always just vote for yourself, Michael. Should I vote for yourself? Yeah. She's right. Michael B. Slayer. Oh, that's Michael B. Slayer. Everybody knows Michael B. Slayer. Every game with this first turn. Oh, wow. Look at that. Man. Oh. I think it's still devoted druid, right? Yeah. I mean, the cost on this is so minimal that it doesn't really matter when we play it. We're always going to get a good value out of it. What were they thinking back in the day? Like, here's a one mana artifact that you can tap for three mana. But why do I need to do that? Mana. Yum. I'm sorry. Did you just do? Did you just do the red man? The red robin song to the to the three mana? Yes. Huh. You like that? I did. I'm a big fan of you, so, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah? Did you like that? Curious. Cur I did. Curious and curious. <laughs> what are you doing, child? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to... Ch oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Their name is literally Child Roland. That... That's wow, weird. they're so aggressive. Right, like they're killing Devoted Druid? I'm just going to play this Blade Splicer. You know what I always say, get busy living or get busy splicing. They missed their second land drop. That's why they're aggressive. That is why. Hey, I almost forgot to write my article tonight. Oh my god, I almost forgot to remind you. Well, you still have. I still have forgotten. <laughs> Correct, It's it hasn't happened yet. Get in there, you little biscuits. Alright, we'll play this guy. Run, biscuits, run. Oh, the... Wait, why are you... <laughs> What's happening right now? That I was would eat, first blood. I would eat three mana before I eat Red Robin again. Wow, I love Red Robin. Unlimited fries, Impossible Burgers. That campfire sauce. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Is what, that the marshmallow not... sauce? No. It's okay, like... you don't have to get aggressive, okay? Sorry, I was getting really worked up about the sauce. No! It's, like, uh... <laughs> it's kind of like a... 
smoky. Smoky. <laughs> it's more like orange in color than like red. It's like what's oh. it taste like? What's what would you equate it to? Campfire. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> There's lots of paprika in it. It's got a real smoky flavor. Um, it kind of reminds me of like maybe like barbecue mixed with ranch. Like oh, that's interesting. Ranch. Tastes like burning I wood. I can't tell if Kerwood's being serious. Kerwood could very well know what it tastes like, or he could actually have no idea and just be like being ridiculous it's really 50 50 smoky ketchup smoky okay ketchup, that's what i said <laughs> that's, i covered that <laughs> but you know there can be like a dark smoky or a light smoky and i feel like it's a light smoky remember that time in the first few games we drew no lands and then we couldn't cast our five drops hey all we have to do is draw them i guess that's true mouth. plus our We're opponent's fine. not not Back, really keeping up here we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could cast Iona next turn. Yeah, we just gotta draw it. You can look up the. You can look up butter. the. Yep, yeah, that's what I was reading. Ketchup, butter, and ground turmeric. That's interesting. All right. Butter. Mm. Okay. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's take it easy. Let's pump the brakes on your butter. My butter consumption. Are you stuck in the upkeep or? <laughs> God, you're so sassy. Don't be mean to him. You being mean to the child? I didn't. Why are they killing all my things? They're, they're I like. I think that's the only way they can play the game. Okay, they have to win in eight turns though, because this bitter blossom. So, you know, ketchup is just the worst. You're out of control. Oh, look, here's a mox. Here's a mox. Here we go. Here we go. They're going to do some They're shenanigans Catching here. their stride now. Those cows know what's up. Milk, butter, steak. Wow. Also, mozzarella cheese. Let's not forget, uh, let's not forget cheese, my dude. Hello, child. I think they're stuck in their upkeep. What are doing? What are doing? <laughs> Do you think that they're trying to be the child? Because look at their little character icon thing. Oh, that's just a little goblin. He's just having a good time. I mean, I he's gotta... close to a baby Yoda. You're close to a baby Yoda. I know. I see your... What is that? A T-Rex? Yeah, that's right. That's an Ixalan dinosaur, I assume. It's no, it's its name is Scrambled Dinosaur. This is just Goblin War Chief. Dang it, Ooh. Garrick. All right. Ugh. Okay, take it easy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna draw something good here. I'm I'm ready for it. I've been ready my whole life. My You're dad ready. always says "cats up" because he was raised in Arkansas. We drew it on the land just to be just to be clear. <clears throat> <laughs> so <laughs> this is what one, two, three, four, five, eight. Eight lands to four spells, two of which produce mana. So ten mana cards to two actual spells so far. That's good. That's a good ratio. Ten to two? Ten to two. I wish we had a fiery confluence right now. We could just kill them. Hands at ten and two, Franklin. I'm not driving, Katums. <laughs> Katumis. You're driving this bus. Good lord. <clears throat> Am I driving a bus right now? Is that not what we're doing? Am I in the wrong game? Are you still drinking that, uh... <laughs> this Shirley Dimple? Yeah, I feel like that thing's lasted for a while. Well, you know I can't drink large volumes of liquid. Yeah, I guess that's true. How about, um... Someone gonna do a fanfic about Katie like they did Mike B? And then Kerwin says, that's a good idea. Oh, good lord. Here it comes. Oh, man. I would love that angel that we put in the deck. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. There's turn... so many cool cards we could draw. Well, Leopold's a good one for them. Do we want to pass Leopold that guy? Just draw a wrath. Oh, that would be great. 
I would be a big fan. We put in two of them. So let's, uh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Katie, I love this. You're first-hand witnessing this bullshit that happens all the time, dude. It's so nice to, to like have another human being outside of like me and Mike experiencing this. Oh yeah, I experience it like every time you stream. I'm just like, it's so exhausting. Land <laughs> ho. You have to win at five. They're gonna win before their bitter blossom kills them. Well, they can just plus Garrick this turn, and then, like, what is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They can just ultimate Garrick next turn. <laughs> I'm tempted to pass this Leovold. Path this Leovold. Yeah, I think. That's fine. I mean, they get to draw a card, but, like, what are you going to do? <clears throat> What's our alternative? I think um, that when we live together, maybe I should drive the bus. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can tell me all the stuff to click on, and I'll try not to mess it up. Well, then why aren't I just doing it, though? Be if you oh, want to, that's dear, fine. You don't, you don't. Oh, are you saying because, you, because you... <laughs> oh, because you would get the draws, then. Yeah, maybe we could play Magic that way. <laughs> As opposed to whatever we call this now. <laughs> whatever this is. I'm gonna block here. Because, like, if they do plus this and then plan to ultimate next turn, right now we get to prevent three. Next turn we'll get to prevent one because they have tramples. So it just feels like a better play. Let's 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 draw Angel of Serenity and not Selfless Spirit. That's my that's my preference. Do you want another land? No, I think I'm good. Katie, how you feeling? What are we drawing? Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe a non-land. Oh, that's a good idea. That's but not our mock. It's going to be Mox Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I have to clarify because Ooh. the Moto Gods are cruel mistresses. <laughs> good lord. You really do have to clarify. Sometimes I'm like, hey, I need a swamp. And they're like, here's a black card. And I'm like, that's the opposite. Man, I wish we got to play our cool cards. Uh, I haven't even... I haven't even seen our cool cards, so. In both games, we didn't, or I mean, in both matches, we didn't even get to, oh god. This guy again? Oh boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. <laughs> oh, Eleshnorn would be decent here. That seems actually pretty, pretty alright. They just get to kill it, though. That would be good. Ready? What is this, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. This is five, so we only have six left over, unfortunately. Well. And their Garrick ultimates next turn. I don't think there's anything we could do to stop that, unfortunately. Yeah, we only have six mana left over. If we had seven, we could potentially Leshnorn if we hit it. Mana leak? <laughs> Are you proposing that we could draw a mana leak? No, I was wondering if they were going to mana leak. We got a Woodfall Primus. I think we're dead. I'm gonna be honest; these games have not these been games have been quick, uh, but not good. <laughs> do we just board in? Do we just play the the non blue deck? I feel like the blue is kind of greedy. I, yeah, I think so. All right. I'm glad we tried it out, but hmm. blue, blue, three. Four, five. Okay, I think I think we'll do fine if we actually just don't. Uh, you know. I mean, I just want to play a game of match. <laughs> do you feel like we've done that or no? No. Okay, <laughs> I I agree. I'm with you here. <laughs> Do you hear that cat? Nope. No. Okay. Well, he stopped. So. <laughs> I was listening really hard. No, he was like, Meow. and I was like, "You hear that cat?" And then he was like, "Is he in his uh, cubby?" No, he's just in the room with me. He wants. I think he wants. I think it's dinner time. Oh. That's right. Hmm. 
Okay, this is a hand. We got some things going here. You good with this? Oh, yeah. Okay, just checking, just checking. Are you stuck in the upkeep, or...? I think you've played this guy before. Ethereal one? Yeah. There's an ethereal one. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna pass here. Okay. You ready? We get to play something on three, hopefully. On three? Yeah. Either Knight of Autumn or Oblivion Ring. On three mana. On turn two, I get. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They fancy. They so fancy. That's true. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, oh, we're going to kill... Let's kill their Mox Pearl. Are you ready? Yes. I'm, okay. She's getting distracted. It's dead. That's true. We'll see what they get. I'm just trying not to get my hopes up. Yeah, I know that feeling. Unfortunately. Oh, a sword of feast and famine. Eh? Oh, and then they're going to play it off of this guy, huh? Wow. I think we're just going to oblivion ring that thing. I don't feel like dealing with a sword of feast and famine. Okay. Especially because it's a green creature and we can't really deal with it, so. You should have left a white up. Oh. Wow. You, you want to bluff that path? Yeah. Let's see if we can draw a green small for things, our, Franklin. <laughs> for our Vivian Reed. You should know that with your PT top eight. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are we going to do with this one green giant growth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. You don't know. Oh, there's Golos. You okay? Golos, you aren't. I was trying to make a it wasn't. I believe in you. I think you're doing good. Golos, you're... Yeah. Oh, look. Somebody's got a Tundra. Uh, I'm just going to block here. One, two. We're like three turns away from a Leshnorn. They might have Spell Pierce. Oh, that was good. So now we can Vivian Reed kill Golos, and they don't have enough pressure to actually kill Vivian Reed back. They don't have no Spell Pierce. They might have had okay. days or force of will. I don't know what's in this. No, I think spell pierce. I don't know if spell pierce is still in here. It might be. But I'm just saying that Let's I think. Let's see how they accurately tap their lands to wow. bluff their cards. <laughs> well, I can't be as good as them, okay? Oh, wow, they're going to get rid of this. Oh, interesting. They know they can't equip this this turn because of Mitra's workshop, right? No, that's not. that's not how that works, my dude. That is to cast artifact spells, not to equip artifacts. Nope. Oh, Revoker. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, they tried. Well, that sort of Feast and Famine is rough. Mana Vault would be amazing here. Oh, that's actually real good too, though. Oh, we get to go Elspeth into a Leshnor in here? Babe, I think we're doing it's it. happening. I think we're living the dream here. Ooh, somebody said Spell Pierce is in the queue. Okay, good to know. I just don't just think I've seen it any... It's never been played against me, but I, I get played against... I get uh, Days and Force of Will played. You mean the really good cards? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that people actually play. You mean the cards that... But Spell Pierce is played and constructed, though. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Oh, they're tinkering. Wow, they got rid of their Sword of Feast and Famine, just the Tinker. Yep, that's a dude. Oh, boy. Never gets any... I felt like I felt like we were doing so good, too. However... I mean, we have a lot going on. We can play Leshnorn. Oh, wow. Look how good we are at this game. <laughs> wow! I mean, we're just doing this, right? 
Yeah. Do we do it on their turn to prevent them from... Mm. Probably, right? Well, they only have two mana up. If they untap, they get to potentially have... Like Cryptic or something. Yeah, Cryptic or like Mystic Confluence or something. I feel like we've earned that that path to exile. Let's get in there with these guys. Oh, man, Alessian Orn next turn. We just win the game, right? Man... I sure hope so. <laughs> you know, it's been a real... It's been a road, for sure. Oh, wow. We didn't even have to play Leshnorn. Elspeth does They didn't the... even let us do the thing. I know. They didn't. Fairgrounds Warden actually might not be bad, because we can get rid of Blightsteel for cheap. Wait, what does Fairgrounds Warden do? Uh, it's like a Fiend Protector. Fiend Hunter. Oh, okay. Just a 1-3 that excels a creature. Yeah, that... It. Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> What do we take out for it? You want to take out Corsair of Crufix? No. Oh, that was a joke. I, I know. I know. <laughs> She's not amused. Or we can just we can just play for... Oh, what about Containment Priest too? Because then they go to Tinker and we just play Containment Priest in response. Thank you! You seem a lot more excited about that. Oh, wow. What? what oh. Are you okay? <laughs> Look at your sub. Yeah, Snarky Zero. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Are you taking about because it says Container Priest to stop Tinker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys are little peas in a pod. After your 14 months together. Wow. Well, you know. Yeah, are we just playing 42 or what? Let's take let's take the like a Day of Judgment out because I don't think they have that many creatures. I think this is fine, right? You're okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. You ain't you ain't picky right now. I was reading our sideboard card. Oh, look at this. This is a turn two Gideon. Gittles, Gittles, Gittles. Gittles, like Skittles? Yeah. Huh. Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh they're well. Oh wow. What is even happening right oh, now? Oh wow. They just exploded all over the board. <laughs> oh, actually we need another white source for turn two Gideon. Giddles, if you were, as it were, if you will. What am I saying right now? Are you okay? I don't think so. Here comes. Here comes Franklin. Coming to my house. <laughs> Is he coming to your house? Hodge Gulashi, thank you for the 25 months, my dude. That's like five years more than 20. What does that mean? I don't know. No. Hunter, stop it. You're being ridiculous. Yeah, we could, Knight. I mean, we kind of have to, but I really hate wasting Mana Vault on that. <sighs> if we if we led with Forest, we could play Vivian Reed this turn, which would be really nice. But I wanted to lead with Gideon in case we hit the blue. Or the, the, the second planes, rather. Oh, I said the blue. Yeah, I guess we can just knight here, because I feel like we kind of have to. Are we getting rid of the sword or the golos? Um... Hmm. I feel like the golos. Maybe. I think so, too, because they don't have anything to equip. Yeah. Plus, like, we have Oblivion Ring next turn for the sword, if that's a problem. Yeah, I feel like we have more control over non-creature things than we do over creatures. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, double sword. Look at all these swords they got. Okay, well, they just can never have a dude. No, nope, now they have two. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I don't like it. Well, that's something right there. I will take one damage from our mana vault. Oh, there's another planes. I guess we're just oblivion ringing here. Yeah. Unfortunately, both of these are protection from green. So, I think the, oh God, which one is better? 
Probably the blue green. Are you thinking or are you gone? I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like discarding a card seems less impactful than like milling us 20 and making a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Feast gives them a lot of mana, but they already have, to, they only have, they have one card in hand. So like, I'm, I think it's, I think Body of Mind is stronger here. It gives them an engine. Man. Yeah, Viv gets the other one, but it gets it in two turns. So we're definitely discarding this. I mean, that might actually solve our problem. What, discarding the angel? No, if we can cast it. Yeah, but we're four mana away, so I think we'll be dead by then. Also, Giddy makes white creatures, so we can just chump block whatever they have the sword on right now. And they didn't use their mana for anything pre-combat, or, or post-combat, I guess. So, you know, that's kind of good, I guess. Hmm. Alright. I'll, I'll, this, this, mana, this mana vault might just kill us, though. <sighs> What's that noise? What's going on? What noise? I don't know. I'm hearing crazy things. Are you hearing things? I think so. What are they saying? I... <laughs> They're not voices, babe. Oh, okay. Well, that was what are they? supportive. What are they? <laughs> is that supportive? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What is... I what want to talk too. What are your voices saying? <laughs> I want to be part of things. I want to be involved. Uh, guess what? Chicken butt. Not quite. But almost. Okay. Eggbert moved to my island today. I don't even know who Eggbert is. Me neither, because I haven't gone to see him yet. Is that an NPC? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cute then. Guess what? Not chicken butt. Eggbert. Eggbert. I kind oh. of imagined him, him as a chicken. Huh. I what guess did they, just do? they cracked the relic of progenitus. Oh. And then they played the planes. God, once she starts talking about Egbert, she can't focus on anything else. Yeah, I was like really into my Shirley Temple. I was imagining what Egbert might look like if he's a chicken <laughs> fellow or not. Well, you should play some Animal Crossing while I write this article. I probably will. Okay. Well. What should I have we for dinner? Plans. I have a big macaroni and cheese that I could make. Oh good, they're gonna treachery my guy. <laughs> that's nice that's enjoyable this has been the quickest draft ever it's really quick we're not even like at an hour i don't think or maybe we're Short at like an hour exactly but it's fine we should do this again though okay or we can just wait until we move because that like I, your internet makes me so sad like everything's fine now like i can read what's on their high screen so i don't know what are they oh, naming weird. now oh Wow. They're doing very well for themselves. Let's nice. go to game three. How about that? Let's see if we can one-two this bad boy. Let's let's see if we can one-two. I kind of want this Day of Judgment back in now. Dang it. I think we're fine. I think we just drew poorly. We can do this. I believe in us. I think cool. the angel is so, fine. You keep telling me to take out angel. I think it's actually fine. Like, we need some kind of top end. Go a lot of... I don't want to ramp into nothing. Plus, like, if we Wrath of God our own creatures, like... Are we keeping this? Are we we literally have play? two, three, four, five, and six. We are on the play, yes. Yeah, I think we keep it. I think it's if fine. we can land Courser, I think we're fine. Put an Eggbert. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we didn't draft an Eggbert, unfortunately. He's He's still on the island. How big is your island? I don't even know. Oh, that was such um, a good draw. Because next time we get to play Corsair and if we hit a land on top. And a land play. drop. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's what daddy likes. That's what mama likes. <laughs> that's what mama. That's what mama and dad like. All right, you ready? Do it. Do it. It was not. Well, God. that's that's not bad because we, we get to land on top and we get to cast this, so. 
Oh god, what is this? Golos? Jesus. <laughs> Never ends. Having a good time. Having a good time. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find another one. Planes. Oh yeah, we did it. Okay, now we're looking good because if they do try to tinker, we can go containment priest. So you're so excited right now. I am. I feel like we're in good shape. We got six mana, five mana. The Woodfall Primus is still on top, even though it got shuffled back. Interesting. <sighs> That's frustrating. I'm probably just gonna chump block this. How do you feel about that? Not good. Well, because next turn we can Vivian Reed and kill the Golos. Yeah, so why are we jumping in and throwing a card away? Well, because we're because th we're gonna have to discard a card from this anyway. Oh wait, what are you jumping with? I'm jumping with the containment priest, not the courser. Oh, okay. We can't with the courser cause okay. it's, because it's oh because it's program. Yeah. My wife is curious what you were what area you studied in vet school. What area I studied, like. So in vet school, you study all. All the animals. things. You're tested on everything. I now only work with small animals. Because risking your life to work with horses is not worth it. <laughs> you love horses. You were like, when I first talked to her, I was like, when I first, when I first talked about horses, I was like, oh, we should get some horses and we can have like, uh, <laughs> we can have a sanctuary. And she's like, if you look at a horse the wrong way, it dies. And I was like, oh, damn. It's true. <laughs> And horse vets make, like, no money. Like, how am I supposed to pay off my gajillion and thousand dollars? How do you feel about me negative, negative three-ing this to kill Golos? I think that's fine. That's because then they have do. nothing on board. And then their yep. Tolarian Academy gets worse. I what about tiny actually... horses? Tiny horses bite harder. Are there is there a difference between tiny horses and ponies? Those are two different things, right? Technically, but everybody just calls them ponies. Like mini ponies. A mini pony? Wouldn't that be even a tinier? So like a miniature ho horse technically is supposed to have all of the same proportions as a large horse, but just be smaller, whereas a pony has different proportions. It, can you confirm what Haj Gulashi said? Is that true? What do you say? Robot horses are more reliable. They require vast mechanical knowledge, though. It's true. You would need a veterinarian and a mechanic. Yeah, that seems like it's definitely worse. That's a lot more. But it depends on if it's a robot or a cyborg. When you... <laughs> that's a solid throwback. When you were in veterinary school, oh wow, that's really sad. Why does this keep happening to us? I don't know. It's like the perfect things every time. When you were in vet school, did they also offer you um, mechanical training as well for the robot horse situation? Um, the most mechanical training we got was orthopedic surgery, where we had to use power tools on bones. I did not enjoy that portion. That sounds really like, that seems like nails on chalkboard kind of experience. Yeah, you know how much I like to hang pictures? Not at all. Yeah, that was like me in ortho surgery. Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> The whole time I'm drilling, just like, I hate this. Like, <laughs> Are they just going to blow it now? I mean, we get, we get to just play Vivian or Hero of Bladehold, which is pretty sweet. Oh, they just Wrathed of God? Wrathed of God? Wow. Oh. That's interesting. I mean, now they still have their... So I can just play Selfless Spirit, right? And then... If they try to blow up everything, we can just save our creatures at least. Interesting. Look at you go. I mean, we're getting somewhere, right? Like, it was basically a wrath for a courser and a Sylvan carry added, which is not the worst. Did Katie ever put a rabbit brain into a horse's body? <laughs> Kerwood, they don't let people like you into vet school. <laughs> and they're like, What's your primary reason for being in vet school? And uh, Kerwitz like, I want to put a rabbit brain in a horse's body. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll let you know. Thanks for showing up. Okay, here we have a decision. I think they're going to name Selfless Spirit. 
which makes me want to sacrifice mm. their response, but like that doesn't do anything because like then they can name Elspeth and then they can just hold on to this. I think we just have to let it go. Yeah. Kermit said they don't let me do a lot of things. Well, <laughs> thankfully Microsoft has been good to you. Oh, they're just gonna choose Elspeth. Okay. You got it. That's interesting because now all my I can just play all creatures, and then we yeah. don't even care. That's odd. Hmm. Let's attack with all these things. What's the best breed of rat? Uh, not the breed that lives in my vents. Oh, why didn't you Vivian his O-Stone? That's a great idea. I don't know why I didn't do that. I also don't know why I didn't do it right now either. I'm really kind of playing around the O-Stone instead of just killing it. But there's also a lot going on. We're talking about robot horses. I got Katie here. She's answering, um, what was that recent question? Rat breeds. <laughs> do you know? Do you have an answer? Um, the only breed I know is like fancy because I don't. Ooh, black rats are good. Oh no, your answer was the not the kind that's in my house. Is that what you said? Yeah, in my vents specifically. Okay, if they give us one more turn, <sighs> that's annoying. <laughs> I mean, we can Vivian read that too, I guess, which is kind of good. Do you feel? What are you saying, my love? Do you feel like that's better? I don't know what's better right now, I'll be honest with you. Let's see everything that they do for their turn. That's a, that's a good idea. You, you're saying <laughs> And we should... then we'll decide what we'll do on our turn. You're saying we should have total information before we start making decisions? I well, am. Sort of War and Peace when we have all white creatures. It's all coming together for them, really. Because we could Vivian read that. Well, we can maybe read lots of things at this juncture. I don't even think their O stone is the biggest threat right now. How are they casting so many things? Well, <laughs> they had treachery. It's like they just keep casting. Okay, you got it. That goes on there. Wow. Okay, so now we're just going to get rid of treachery because if they want to actually O stone, that's fine because we have selfless spirit. So we'll just play this this lady. Having a good time. And let's get rid of the treachery. Yeah, the sword stays on. But they can just move it over if they want to. How you doing over there? It's like Bogles over here. It's what? It's like Bogles over here. Put a fake counter on a permanent on your sword. Sure. Bogles? Oh, because of all the like equipments and stuff? Yeah, that's what Haji Galashi then. Oh, I did. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh, oh, boy. We're having a good time. Are you okay? I'm dying. Hmm. I don't think we attack with the one ones here, unfortunately. I'll just get in there with this guy. Having a good time. We still a... have three cards. Well, two after that land, but still. Yep. That's a thing. That doesn't do much, though. That just deals us damage. No. Oh, that's that's a little better, though. Oh. I guess they're attacking our face here. From black, red, Black, red, green, white, and white. Yep. Green. Yep. What turn is this? Eight? We haven't drawn lands for three turns? That's unfortunate. What are we discarding here, babe? Mm. You should have opened Bob's Bobble in pack one. I don't even know what that is. Um. Yep, they're going face. We can't block. So. Well, they're going to gain like two life here, 13. Mm. Well, they're just paying a bunch of mana during their. I mean, their... we could. Let's get Woodfall Primus, I think. I don't yeah. think this guy's coming down anytime soon. 
because we could like fog with Gideon Dura. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, if we did Gideon Ultimate like Emblem, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then the Battle Cry, which is the eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three damage. I mean, if they can't do anything about that, then we just might just win with a Gideon Emblem, right? Oh. Oh. I guess they conceded anyway. I think we just had the damage on the board. Right? Wow. So even without, like, they blow this, we, we sack this. Then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have exactly lethal with just the hero, mm. the three soldiers, and the two soldiers she makes. So, yeah, we had exactly 13 if we sacked this to save our guys. So Interesting. I would, maybe they just messed up. Or, alternatively, they could have attacked and then played their land. They would have gained one more life from the sword. Because they would have had one more card in hand. Which would have put them at 14. And without the emblem, they would have been alive at 1. But, either way, we they did come back in the final round. They, they did mess up A.A. Ron. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let us know what you thought about Katie's first appearance on the stream. And, uh... Be sure to check out manatraders.com. As Katie will mention, there is a link and promo code down in the description for 20% off your first three months. And you can also Frank go to... Five. What's the Frank Five? That's coolstuffinc.com, which you can go to every Wednesday for new content. So Look, I'm helping. You are helping. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.